Today we're eating at one of Nashville's most popular spots. Named after Willie Nelson, this is the Red-Headed Stranger. Let's go get it, come on. So the things that I'm hearing here that you have to try, which I was getting recommendations from fans on Instagram, is the green chili burger. And they have some kind of like knockoff Taco Bell crunch wrap, Supreme type style here. It's called the OG crunch wrap, we're trying that as well but let's get inside and let's go check it out from the inside, come on. The one good thing about this place is there's no high expectations because they literally warn you ahead of time. So it says wait after ordering. Round about 30, that means around about 30 minutes or so, something around there. We don't know, but probably, probably about 30 minutes or something like that. Anyways guys, this is Jared, he's our buddy from Nashville. He's been showing us around, showing us the good spots and he's our closest buddy. So when we move out here, we're Biffles. He's our only buddy. <laughs> One of only, but you know what? He took his kickballing last night. It was a pretty good time, we won, so. Quality, not quantity. Exactly, Jake. Learn that, all right? It's not all the women you have. It's about having one strong, independent man. Okay. I'm assuming they don't have a tipsy walk here. Why do you say that? Sure, says no Ooh. chips. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I can see that they probably wouldn't have some chips here. Look at this side. We recommend two to three. What is two to three? Taco chorizo and roasted chicken taco? Sorry, Stone Cold. I'm going my way or the hot way. How you doing, my man? How's it going? Good, good. Can I get the, uh, the green chili burger? Yeah. What are you guys recording for? Oh, uh, we make food reviews. So, so we're here to try the green chili burger, and we're here to try the OG crunch wrap, and then we're also here to try the, the daily special, the chopped brisket sandwich. And that's it. Oh, did you want a beer? Or nah? Get one. Do we want them? Nah, no beers. Okay, and that's it. I don't know what's going on there, but that dude is right. That's him right there in the kitchen. He grew his beard out a little bit, I can tell. Looks good though. Yo, that girl at the bar is pretty cute, man. She's making me nervous. She's looking my direction. Right there, man, right there. With the bandana? In the pink. With the bandana. Yeah, the bandana. Oh. She got a long neck to swallow you whole. Come on, don't say that kind of stuff. Hey. Try, try, try to get a shot of her? She's looking. Just do it, real quick. Oh God, I'm nervous. Uh. Who is that? That's supposed to be Willie Nelson, not a chick. That's a man? Damn it. Not again. We're on the road again. See what I did there? I do, I see it. I see it. I see what she did. And this is Jake's bathroom review. First off, cute bathroom. Let's get a little view of this. I mean, it's definitely a vibe. It fits it. It's there's two restrooms here, and I think it works. They keep them clean. There's nothing for me to complain about. I would definitely use it. I'm actually gonna use it. Let's go. Yes, right here. Oh wow. This is this is the green chili one, right? Yeah, I'm assuming. Uh, no, this is the green chili burger, and that is the brisket. Sauce. Good to know. Thank you. Which one are the salsas? Yeah. So the orange one is Dreamweaver. It's our house-made hot sauce with uh, you know, all house-made. That one's. Uh, Fermented habaneros, curry spices, carrots, and citrus. Wow. And then uh, jalapeno hot sauce, and then Dr. Pepper hot sauce. Dr. Pepper, huh? Nice, okay. Well, let's dig in. Here's what we got. All right, so we got two different burgers here. Jake has his brisket burger. I have the original green chili burger. Really famous here. Everyone talks about it being so delicious. So I'll let Jake try his brisket first. Get Put some reaction. Dr. Pepper sauce on it. That's interesting. Never had that before. Look at that big bite, man. Oh my god. It's good. What is those fried things inside? Are those green chilies also? I think so. Interesting. I was a little confused at first because I thought that had been the green chili burger because of the chilies inside, but here are the actual little chilies. They're down here underneath the cheese. It's a little hard to see. So I'm going to try it just as it is and see how that tastes. Oh, the saliva pole. I can't. Oh. oh. Fire. Oh. Crispy ends. A little spice with that green chili on the inside. The cheese is very creamy, it melts in your mouth, oh. it's all combined together. Really delicious taste here. Let's swap on this one. We're back. All right, bite that side because I saliva on one side. It's mouth-watering good. Did you put a little sauce? I don't know, that burger is way better. Way better? See, it's like, do I even want to try homeboys? Yeah, try it. All right, let's try this one. Wow, that meat in there is so tender. Perfectly shredded, nice taste in there. Some real quality meat inside of there for sure. They know what they're doing back there. That's for damn sure. This is so far so good. So, 
they said that they make this sauce out of carrots, which is gonna be pretty interesting. So I'm gonna throw a little bit on here. Oh, it's thick, like baby food carrot. Here we go. Mmm. Dr. Pepper sauce is good. Is it? I'll tell you, it doesn't taste like Gerber light baby food, that's for sure. It's got a little spice to it. You know, that's interesting. That's interesting. We'll go for this Dr. Pepper one now. That one is spicy. The Dr. Pepper's a little sweet. Oh. You don't like that one? I don't like the Dr. Pepper one. Try this Too one. Too sweet. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet tangy. Really interesting burgers here. They, they're very just like, they're kind of small burgers, you know? But they give me that, that feel of it being homemade. That's what it feels like to me. I will say, having this be my first time, the weight on the food is like you're going to like a, a full-on restaurant. So, oh, I, we should order a double. I'm yeah. still gonna be hungry. Uh, but I'm not waiting again. The weight was ridiculous. 30 minute wait, but hey, the food is pretty good. I think it's almost better without any of these sauces. Yeah, I mean, we are eating a burger and those are taco sauces, but <laughs> we wanted to try them. I mean, there was no ketchup on the table for me to try it with. I'm gonna truth, guys. Oh, that looks thick. Oh my, oh my, my goodness. God. All right, so you got a lot of stuff in here. This is way more stuff than any Taco Bell Crunch Wrap. Look how thick the tortilla is on the bottom. There's like 18 layers. Yeah, wow. Look at that. It's layers like, on layers on layers. It's like, be gentle. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what this OG Crunch Wrap is like. We both had them from Taco Bell. Let's see how they are here. Oh, that's fire. Oh my gosh, it's like gourmet Taco Bell. That's the best way I can describe this one. This is better than the one we made. Way better. It doesn't have the same crunch as the Taco Bells do. No, but it has this, It has the same like creaminess to it that yeah. like Taco Bell does. Yeah, but you're right. The one at Taco Bell is a lot more crunchy, like a, a nice more crunch wrap. You get that crunch to the crunch wrap. Here, it's just like tortilla but it's really tasty. Is this somewhere you come back knowing that we had a 30 minute wait though? I would order it for pickup. That's smart. You get a lot more beans in this one as well. The next one we're gonna try here is the pork green chili crunch wrap supreme. And as you can see, this is cheese that they melted down to be the bottom. So that's like the crunch is cheese. Oh, wow. The OG was good, but I felt like I had a lot of beans. This one you get more of that chili, you get that pork flavor. Mm. I think that one's better than the original. I think mine's the Trader Joe's is frozen burritos. Ooh, those green, no, that's a green chili burrito. Like the green oh, chili yeah, burrito. Oh yeah, the green chili burrito. That's what that tastes like. This has got a real good spice to it. It actually has what looks to be like chips on the inside to give it that little bit of a crunch. So this one goes a, goes a long way for sure. This might be my next time order. Yeah, here, that one's good. We're finished up, let's get on out of here. So. Redheaded Stranger, I'm not gonna lie, pretty dang good. How do I rate this place? I'm gonna give it a solid 8-2 on the deliciousness scale. Definitely a place I would return, but I'd like to try a couple new things in there. So if you're in Nashville, I recommend you come try this spot. Till next time, I love y'all, and I'll see you guys when I see ya. Remember, new song, June 9th. Peace.